What's up everybody? Welcome back to the 31 Days of Horror. I am your host Mood616 and thank you once again for stopping in peeps. Yes, it is that time of year, October 1st. So that means the 31 Days of Horror is back. This is volume 4, day 1. Absolutely love this time of year. Like I say, every year. I'm a big sports fan, so... This is one of those kind of special months. I think it's like the only month of the whole year where all four of the major North American sports are playing at the same time. Pretty cool stuff. Um, of course, you got my birthday in a couple days. And last but definitely not least, the month that houses Halloween. So yes, and that means we got a lot of reviews to do, man. So I'm always very excited this time of year to, you know, get back to making videos and stuff. I know I've been very absent this year with making videos. I've been trying my best. I'm just super, super busy. But lo and behold, 31 Days is back. And day one here, we got a film from 2003 directed by Andre Iskanoff. And it is called Nails. Yes, this was released by Unearth Films, part of the Russian horror collection. Um, this guy is, this is actually the third film I've seen by this guy. It's his debut film. Uh, the other films that he's actually noted for doing is Philosophy of the Knife, which is a brutal, brutal watch, man. It's like a drama horror. Four hours, it's brutal. It's like a one-time watch only. And of course, uh, he did Visions of Suffering, which, um, I've seen that one years ago when it first came onto Netflix. And it's been off Netflix for years, but I missed the DVD. It's one of the Unearthed Films releases I don't have, but uh, unfortunately. But um, yes, Nails, Andre Iskanov's debut film. This is more or less kind of a, an experimental film. Uh, quick little synopsis on it is basically we follow our main character here. He at once, one time was a uh, Russian assassin. Now he's kind of dealing with, you know, his past, you know, he's having lots of mental issues. He's having all these crazy visions and shit like that from, you know, his assassination days and shit like that. So he gets this bright idea where he wants to cure himself. So he, there's like this old method, this old scientific method where people used to drill holes into their head to like relieve pain. And it was supposedly used to also cure disease and things like that. Uh, called trepanation and so his method of trepanation is basically you know nailing nails into his brain uh, to stop the the visions and uh, all the suffering that is happening but lo and behold it actually kind of creates a little bit more issues for him and that's your film now my thoughts on this one this is a very interesting film it's very short it only runs about 62 minutes long it's very experimental it's shot in black and white and it's pretty much a silent film it's a straight up visual treat you know it's all visuals here um you know you get to see his visions and all the shit that's going on in his head and stuff with very very few lines of dialogue in this there's maybe like 10 lines of dialogue throughout the whole thing it is subtitled so it's in russian so if you can handle that um you know those little bit of subtitles you know check this out but um if you're into very visual type films like i am uh this is going to be right up your alley. Uh, I find that, you know, if a film is aesthetically beautiful and, you know, engaging, it doesn't really need to have a lot of story to it. It's kind of like that whole Suspiria thing, you know. Um, you know, it doesn't really have the craziest story, but aesthetically and visually, it's absolutely outstanding. Uh, you know, the style over substance type thing. That's kind of what we're getting here. Very cool visuals. I love the transitions. Also, the soundtrack to this is very unique, too. It kind of starts out like, David Lynch, you know, Eraserhead, industrial sounds and things. And then it gets into, like, the music kind of progresses with the story as his visions kind of go crazier and crazier and things like that. I love the music. I thought, you know, it went perfectly with the aesthetic and the visuals of the film. Uh, really cool stuff, man. And I, I, I like how it ends, too. It's pretty neat. Um, but, you know, not a whole lot more to say about the movie because it is so short. It only runs about 60 minutes. Uh, this is an interesting release, too. It actually has a bunch of special features. There is a making of nails on here that runs about 30 minutes, about half the length of the actual running time of the film, which I'll probably end up watching later on. I just didn't have time to watch before doing this review and stuff. But uh, yeah, man, if you're into, you know, visual films, uh, more or less silent, experimental, black and white, shot in black and white, um, you know, for not the whole thing shot in black, but the beginning is shot in black and white. Uh, but um, very cool stuff. Very, very cool stuff. 
Now, if I had to rate this film, I would probably give this one a good solid 7 out of 10. Uh, I really like what they did with this. You know, it kept me intrigued through the whole thing. It's probably the perfect length for what the movie is. I don't think it should have been any longer. Uh, it could have been shorter. You know, these type of films can always work as, you know, straight up shorts and things like that. But to be any longer, I think it would have overstayed its welcome. It got the point across to this, uh, you know, what it was trying to do and stuff. Um, I do like the political undertones to the film, of course, you know, dealing with the Russian government and being an assassin and things like that. It's kind of cool. Uh, it's prevalent there, you know, minorly, but it's there. Um, so yeah, 7 out of 10, man. I, I, I think this one's pretty good, man. Another solid release from Unearthed Films. Give it a shot. Um, you know, actually, you know, going into this film, I thought it was going to be a lot more gory, just, you know, by the title, Nails. There is some pretty decent effects in this. They're not overly crazy or anything, but there is some, uh, there's a couple moments in here where you're like, ah, oh, god damn, it's having to do with a drill, because he, he kind of steps up his game at one point, instead of just nailing in the nails, he actually takes a drill and, you know, starts to drill into his head, because, you know, the visions and the pressure is so bad, but, uh... Pretty cool stuff, man. Nails, give it a shot. 7 out of 10 from Unearthed Films. I think that one is actually out of print now, if I'm my memory serves me correctly. But gotta thank the man, D Bouge86, my man Boston Brando, aka Derek, for sending me this over. Even recently he sent this over, so did an unboxing, but check it out. Good stuff. That is gonna conclude day one here on the 31 Days of Horror. Yeah! So happy to be doing this again. I have no idea what I'm doing from day to day. So if you have any recommendations or things that you want to see reviewed, maybe I might get to them, maybe I won't. But leave some suggestions down below. I do what I'm gonna. I do know what I'm going to be doing for tomorrow. It's a film I just got in a couple days ago. Been dying to check it out. Uh, it is an anthology film, so I'll let you guys dwell on that one. But uh, really, really looking forward to it. So check you guys out tomorrow in day two. And as usual, peace.